Good evening. We begin tonight with the second part of our APTN Perspectives series on suicide. Last night we heard about a cry for help from one First Nation in B.C. who now declared a state of emergency. Tonight we go to Saskatchewan where more young people attempt suicide than in any other place in Canada. But we'll introduce you to a man who is trying to reverse this trend. Here is APTN's Larissa Burnoff. When I was 15 years old, I first tried suicide. I attempted suicide. 18-year-old Courtney Dagnall thinks back to the first time she tried to take her own life. I tied the rope around my neck. And, uh, everything just went rushing through my head, like my family, my nieces and nephews, and I just let go of one. This was the first of two failed attempts for this Den 18. Dagnall lives 600 kilometers northwest of Saskatoon in the remote First Nations community of Turner Lake, Saskatchewan. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't succeed in what I tried doing because I've become so much more. Dagnall credits a personal development weekend program for changing her life. Leroy the Liberty started the program a few years ago. He wanted to change the lives of the youth living in the north. There were no other programs out there. Now you give me a hug. How are you guys? Good. He goes into the communities and speaks to the kids directly about their problems. Experiences La Liberty relates to as he grew up in the North and faced the same issues and problems plaguing the Northern kids. When I was a kid, uh, you know, I, I had lost my parents and then of course I went through the whole... He grew up in a home where there was a lot of alcoholism and drug abuse, and there was no programs like that back when I was a kid, and it's still like that today, especially in these northern communities. Liberty and his team of coordinators go into remote northern communities to host three-day sessions with up to 30 people at a time. There are group discussions, workshops about life's problems, self-esteem, anger, suicide, and grieving. It incorporates skits, music, candle vigils, one-on-one, -on -one, and group counseling. We're trying to help them break that chain and show them that there's a whole world out there. It doesn't have to end right here, you know? It is tough. It's different nowadays than it was before. Um, you know, but in regards to that abuse, it is exactly the same, if not worse. They really make you feel like you're that they're there for you. Like, they're always going to be there for you, and they are. Like, I personally message Leroy every once in a while when I'm down, and he's always there to help me out. And Jonathan Sylvester is a counselor with the Birch and Arrows Denny Nation in Turner Lake. He'd lived there his whole life and has experienced suicide firsthand. This program let people open up. Um, it let people come out and speak their mind and let just speaking about it actually makes a body feel better, you know? Let's everything out. The Liberties program is solely funded by the Northern Bands and communities who request the program, which also includes mandatory long-term follow-up with those who attend. These, these suicide intervention workers that they've had, they were on a contract basis. They didn't have uh, funding that'll keep them there year after year. So once their contract's done, their job's done. They don't have anybody that's able to go into the community and work with them. According to the Canadian Mental Health Association, Saskatchewan per capita has the highest rates of suicide attempts across the country. And in Saskatchewan law, the provincial government says in this year's budget is a specifically earmarked $200,000 for suicide prevention programs across the north, with more than two-thirds of that money going directly through the Métis Nation of Saskatchewan to provide suicide prevention workers to 12 Métis communities across northern Saskatchewan. The other 50000 earmarked for advertising of the province's health line, which offered suicide counseling services 24 hours a day. The province also states that nearly $6 million is used every year for mental health, outpatient, and addiction services in the northern health region, not including the federal programs offered on reserve. And it makes Sylvester wonder if there is money in place for suicide prevention, where is it going, who is getting it, and why are reserves in remote northern communities not receiving it for vital programs such as this one? We have to move money around to find money for these personal weekends, these personal workshop weekends. So, um... And it's not good, because then it's limited funds for us, for other programs. It's not like the money hasn't been promised. No one knows that more than the Liberty. He is the former assistant to the Member of Parliament in Northern Saskatchewan. The Liberty says election promises need to be fulfilled. It's like they forget about them. You know, when it's time for the election and everything else like that, they're pushing and saying, I'm going to bring this money north and 
we're going to deal with this, this, uh, they called a, you know, a pandemic in regards to suicide. We're going to deal with it now, but they haven't done anything yet. It's going to happen. Um, we need prevention dollars. We need awareness dollars for suicide. It, we need it. And, um, like in a remote community like this, it's not easy to get access for somebody to come out from six hours away to come here and do, you know, because they have expenses that need to be paid to, you know, and to get somebody that far, it's very expensive and somebody professional. Courtney is now running a youth council and planning youth programs of her own. She also looks forward to graduating high school next year and feels grateful to the Liberty and his program that she says saved her life. Thank you. Thank you very much. You brought to me, brought me the best out of me and helped me to become what I've become and made me a better person, made me realize and just thank you. Larissa Burnoff, ABTN National News, Turner Lake, Saskatchewan.